Welcome everyone. Today we will be working on this crochet ruffle skirt. To make this skirt, you need to start at the waistband. And the waistband is very simple. Make a slip knot and chain up eight stitches. In the seventh stitch, you're going to half double crochet into each spot. Your waistband should have seven half double crochets. If you would like to make it thicker, by all means, go ahead and do that. Keep in mind, if you're a beginner, whatever the lower waist measurement is will be the length of the waistband. So as you work on the waistband, just make sure each row has seven half double crochets. So yeah, just keep working on the waistband until it's your desired length. Keep measuring your waistband so that you don't overwork. A pet peeve of mine is to undo my work. I really, I really hate doing that. <laughs> so yeah, as you reach the end of your waistband, you are going to take the two ends and either sew them together or what I did, I single crocheted both pieces together, which is so easy and, and very quick. So here we start to work on the body of the skirt. Now this is where you'll need those crochet markers. Have those ready. Now this is the first step I do. You can skip this step if you'd like, but I think it's just easier. So you'll just single crochet into each spot or gap that you see around the waistband. So those crochet markers are coming into use now. You're going to place those crochet markers on the sides of the skirt. So this is where you'll be increasing. You'll just be adding another double crochet into that spot where the marker is. You can use anything for the crochet markers. I'm using paper clips. I just like paper clips more because you can pull them out easy. So there you have it. Just make sure that you put the crochet markers directly parallel or completely opposite of each other from one end to the other because that's the size that we'll be extending. So now we'll be working on the body of the skirt. You'll be making double crochets into each spot. Normal, we're just making double crochets. Once you reach the crochet marker, you'll be putting two double crochets in that spot.
So we're reaching the first crochet marker. You're going to put two double crochets in that spot and one double crochet all the way until you reach the next crochet marker. Don't forget to put that crochet marker right in the middle of those two double crochets. You're going to continue this for every other row. So the row we worked on before this, the single crochet, you're not going to count that. But every other row, let's call it the odd row, will have two double crochets where the crochet marker is. You're going to do this for a total of 10 rows. Row 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9 will be increasing. Rows 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10 will not be increasing. So the sides will not have two double crochets. It'll be one double crochet in each spot. So we're reaching the second crochet marker. Make sure to put two double crochets in that spot and put the crochet marker in between those two double crochets you just made. So we just finished up row one of the double crochets. We have a little bit more work left ahead of us, but we got this. Stay strong, it'll be done before you even know it. So continue working. This row, row number two, will not have any increases. So just put one double crochet in each spot. We're at row number three now, and we're reaching the crochet marker. Remember to put two double crochets into that spot where the crochet marker is. You will repeat this for a total of 10 rows. Only five rows out of those 10 will be increasing. Continue working until you reach the 10th row Remember to increase on the odd rows and do not increase on the even rows. By row 10, you'll start to notice the body of the skirt getting a little bit wider. Now, by the 10th row, you should notice that the body of the skirt should be the same width as your hips. If the body of the skirt is not equal to the width of your hips, you need to add a few more rows of increasing. So the 11th row would have increasing on the sides, the 12th row would not. Keep adding more rows of increasing if the skirt does not equal your hips. So now we are done increasing on the skirt. Continue adding rows to the skirt until you reach your desired length. 
for this skirt, my client wanted a short skirt, so I will be stopping at around 12 inches. But you can keep making your skirt as long or as short as you'd like. So we'll still have the same end result, just keep working on the skirt if you'd like to make it a little longer. So we just reached our final row before we start the ruffles. Please measure your skirt now. If it's a good length, then go ahead and start the ruffles. If it's still a little too short for you, keep adding more rows until you reach your desired length. The ruffles are super easy. Um, if you already know how to do ruffles, you can go ahead and do your own design. But for me, I'm going to put two double crochets into each spot on this row. Continue working until you reach the end of this row. You'll start to see the ruffle taking its form by now. This is the final row of double crochets. You're going to do exactly the same thing as the last row. You're going to put two double crochets into each space. Continue working until you reach the end of this row. So now we're going to do the trim. You can skip this step if you like, but it definitely adds that bit of color that the skirt needs and it's so pretty. So you're gonna take your medium, I'm using medium weight. You can use any yarn you want that's not larger than medium weight. You're going to put one single crochet into every space on this ruffle. Now the very final step, again you can skip this if you'd like, you're going to add the trim on the waistband. So all you do is you single crochet into each gap on top of that waistband, just like we did 
in the single crochet before we started the body of the skirt. We're going to single crochet on top of the waistband. And there you have it. We just finished the crochet ruffle skirt. Thank you so much for joining me on this tutorial today. Leave a comment if you'd like to suggest another tutorial. Until next time, love cutie crochet.